Lost media can be kind of scary sometimes. One minute something is here, and then like a powerful magician, it's gone the next. Sometimes media can resurface. It could be sitting on the shelf at a half-price books, or collecting dust in Robert Woodhead's basement. Regardless, here's six pieces of obscure anime lost media. Space Punch Space Punch was a manga published in the hentai magazine Lemon People. The series was created by Hari Ken Ryu, and despite being featured in a pornographic magazine, actually focused more on slapstick and humor, as well as pop culture references. In 1983, the anime magazine Animage announced that a TV series was in production, and confirmed that Macross animators Ichiro Itano and Toshihiro Hirano would be working on the project. That year, Lemon People had a cover advertising the TV series, and featured the character designed for the main character Yoon, as she would appear in the animation. Alongside the announcement, an LP was produced, featuring tracks that are believed to be part of an incomplete score for the anime, as well as audio drama segments speculated to have been performed by the series' voice actors. No further information exists as the anime never aired, and it's believed that it was cancelled due to lack of confidence from the sponsors due to the original manga being published in a hentai magazine. However, because Ichiro Itano and Toshihiro Hirano were slated to work on the anime, and it was stated to be a passion project by the team working on it, it's my belief that the production of Macross Do You Remember Love interfered with the series, leading to a silent cancellation. The announcement of the series lines up perfectly with the start of pre-production of the film, and both Hirano and Itano would have large roles in Do You Remember Love's production. It's unconfirmed if the stills featured on the LP were completed animation segments, or simply stills used to promote the series. Nothing beyond these stills has surfaced, and neither Hirano or Itano has given any direct reason why the project was cancelled. Warrior of Love, Rainbow Man Rainbow Man was a tokusatsu that aired on NET in 1972. The series followed a pro wrestler who trained with a yoga guru, and gains the ability to transform into seven different forms. In 1982, an anime adaptation was planned. The series changed the basic premise slightly, going from a standard superhero show, something along the lines of Seven Color Mask, to try and push the series closer into the mecha genre, as anime was experiencing a mecha boom in Japan in the early 80s. Prior to its premiere, the series ran into production issues, leading to the first episode being pushed back by a week, and after airing 22 episodes, the series faded into obscurity. As of the making of this video, only episode 21 is available online, though it has been confirmed that a collector does have episodes 1 and 13 in his possession, and claims that he also has two more episodes, though he doesn't know what number they are. The rest of the series is considered lost. However, due to the popularity of recordings during this time, it is very possible that more episodes may come forward in the future, and maybe someday we'll have the complete series. Bancho Wakusei, Delinquent in Another World Bancho Wakusei was a planned anime series based on the manga by Shotaro Ishinomori. The manga follows a delinquent named Ryu who is transported to a parallel world, causing him to fuse with a parallel version of himself. This fusion gives him enhanced fighting strength and speed, which he uses to defend himself in a world that is much more cruel than our own. The series was part of an initiative to adapt a number of Shotaro Ishinomori manga into anime, during a resurgence in popularity of his work in the early 2000s. A new company called Ishimori Entertainment was founded to adapt these works into anime, toys, and eventually films. Naoyuki Kono, who did the character designs for the anime adaptation of Kakaider, Cyborg 009, and 91, did the character designs for the series, which was announced with no exact release date. It's believed that production issues were caused due to the poor performance of the 9-1 anime, which ran for 12 episodes only to have its second season cancelled before entering production. 9-1 would wind up being Ishimori Entertainment's only production, as alongside the cancellation of 9-1's second season, the Hollywood Cyborg 009 film would also face production issues. And following these issues, all of Ishimori Entertainment's projects were slowly and quietly cancelled. Only a single image of several characters as well as robot policemen was drawn by Neo Yuki Kono and shown off in several Ishinomori art books and advertisements. But nothing more is known about the planned anime. Hanachoko Akuma Niki no New York Taikenki Hanachoko Akuma Niki no New York Taikenki was a six-episode flash anime made to promote the release of the Adam Sandler movie Little Niki. The series follows various characters from the film in quote-unquote comedic scenarios. Of the six episodes produced, five were found by Twitter user Mercury Falcon on a virus-filled porn site. The anime itself is super garbo to say the least, and a poor representation of Sandler's beloved film. These five episodes were also included on the Japanese DVD release of the series, where it's believed that the original file was ripped from. The sixth episode was for some reason not included and has yet to surface online. It's unlikely the episode will surface anytime soon as Adam Sandler has moved on to other projects, and currently shows very little interest in revisiting the character or his anime counterpart.
Maze anime film. Maze was a light novel series from Japan that was later adapted into a manga, an anime, and an anime film. The film was shown as a double feature with the Welcome to Lotus Island theatrical movie, but after only a few showings, disappeared entirely. Unlike the TV series or anime OVA, the film never received a DVD or Blu-ray release, and there's been no word on the status of the film, why it was never released, or if it ever will be. As of right now, only a poster as well as a short trailer are available, while the rest of the film is still considered lost. Shaq's Big Challenge, Episode 2 Shaq's Big Challenge was a reality television show hosted by Shaquille O'Neal that debuted on ABC with its first episode airing on June 26, 2007. The show concluded its first season on July 31, 2007. It featured Shaq's efforts to help six severely obese middle school-aged children from Brownard County, Florida lose weight and gain a healthy lifestyle. The series was highly sought after in the lost media community as it was alleged that Episode 2 featured a girl's Naruto headband being acknowledged by Shaq. After several attempts to find the series, user Mercury Falcon discovered that it was actually Episode 3 that depicted the girl wearing the Naruto headband, and that the girl was in fact contestant Kit Maldonado, weight 263 pounds. Several commenters have come forward claiming to have the series, though no further update has come since then. It's believed the release of the series is being suppressed by Shaq himself, who is actually quite fat, and is currently being paid mega dollar signs to shill Papa John's, proving once and for all that he's nothing more than a money-hungry coward. Thank you for watching the video, and please be sure to go to nordvpn.com slash mercuryfalcon for 73% off a two-year plan plus four months free. NordVPN protects your internet from hackers and allows you to access nationwide servers, which, which will allow you to access other countries' streaming content. Um, be sure to sign up today and use code mercuryfalcon at checkout or uh, click the link then post link in description and leave a comment. Yeah, that.